Penny, how are you? Today I am going to do a video, and it wasn't a tag video, but then I got tagged because I made a comment on it that this was too hard and I couldn't do it. <laughs> so um, Annette from Next Makeup Corner did a video where she said if I could only keep 10 palettes. So um, I will link her down below yeah, with that video, so you can go and have a look at what she chose. And and I commented that, um, no, I can't do it. It was too hard. So then she commented back and said, I'm tagging you, you have to do it. So, here, here I am, doing that. <laughs> so um, here's a little clip of me staring at my palettes and wondering what which ones I was going to pick. So this is where my palettes are at the moment. I'm not counting anything that is new to my collection that I um, haven't had a chance to use yet. So it'll take this one out. Because I haven't used that one yet. <laughs> so what are my favourite palettes out of here? Hmm, this is going to be hard. I'm going to choose this one because I've just finished using this one and um, <laughs> I really love it. And any palette that I've just got, I usually love, so that one's going to be one. I'm going to choose my Zodiac palette, because I really like that one. Um, I may choose the other Zodiac palette as well. I'm going to choose my Tribe palette. So, in the next four. I feel like I should have a neutral palette in there. I'm going to choose the Neutralize Australis. It's five, so I'm halfway. It's getting tricky. And I think I might choose my Living Coral Yukim B palette. Six. What else? I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I'd want a good variety of colour. Choose next. Open the palettes up to have a look at them. And I'm thinking I might take this one out because I've got enough neutrals in these ones that I don't need a separate neutral one, I don't think. So put that one back. What else do I want? I think I want. Yeah, do I want that one? Red one. Maybe that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of just want to put all these color pop ones in because then I know I've got. <laughs> All the colours that I want. But I could probably get some of those colours from that one and that one for that one. So I probably don't need that one. Um, This is hard. What? Probably now. So I've got so a good variety of greens. I've got some good oranges. Have I got some good purples? Got some reds. Got some yellows. Got 
think. I may want a bit more pink. Okay, I'm going to think about this some more and show you my final thoughts because um, I knew this was going to be really hard. <laughs> so after you see me looking at my palettes and trying to figure out, I made a few changes in that lineup. Some of them are the same and I'm going to show you what I chose. So I chose the I Heart Revolution Tasty Avocado palette because... I love greens and I've just finished playing with this palette and I love this palette and I said before you know, whatever palette I've been enjoying and <laughs> been using is usually top on my list and then I chose the Living Coral from You Can Be because it has lots of those oranges, a few greens, yellow, a few browns, it's very wearable. I, I wouldn't use the glitter probably but um, Everything else I would use on an everyday basis. And the other two that were easy is the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. So I chose this one because um, I absolutely love these purple mats. And I don't even wear purple that often, but I absolutely love those purple mats. And the shimmers are really pretty and it works really well. So I, I was happy with that. And I also chose the other Zodiac one, the Love Signs one, because I've used it a bit recently. And um, I love the shimmery oranges here, and I love the shimmery pinks. And I really love these neutrally yellowy, orangey kind of mattes that they have in there. And, and this one, I think they're just beautiful, but I also like these teal mattes as well. So I get some teal mats to go with the teals shimmers and to go with the teals that are in this palette. The avocado one. <laughs> so that's got quite a few um, teal colours in it too but no teal mats. So I feel like they will go together well. So that makes four. And then I started to get into problems because it was like but okay what else do I want? I knew I wanted more yellow, so I actually ended up in Colourpop and got the Aha uh -huh Honey one because I adore these bright yellow shades. They work well and these shimmers are gorgeous. So I chose that one. And orange is my favourite colour, so I had to choose the orange one. And also, oh, I'll use my other hand, these orange mattes are very unique to my collection in that I haven't got anything that bright in my collection. And I really like, enjoy this palette, so I like the hand. <laughs> and then I decided, oh, gosh, a lot of purpley colours to go with those purple ones. So I chose the Aha Honey palette. No, sorry. <laughs> I chose the It's My Pleasure palette because it's got a couple of purpley shades, but it also got these kind of pinky, burgundy kind of shades, which I will enjoy. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And and then and then I started really having problems. <laughs> because I was only allowed to pick three more because I wanted to pick the red one because I wanted some red, but then I couldn't find it. then I didn't have enough for any blues and it got really complicated in my head. So I actually ended up picking the BYS Euphoria palette because this has got only, it's only got one shimmer, which is that blue one. The rest are all mattes, so I can, I've got lots of colourful mattes there, and it's got some blues, and it's got pinks, and it's got a nice red and orange, and so, and it's got some nice match greens in there to mix with the other ones. So I chose that one, and, <laughs> and then it got even harder, and I ended up going with this one, because I decided I needed some pink mattes, but I also didn't really have hardly any blue mats. So this one's got a couple of blue mats and a blue shimmer. But it's also got some of those um, brighter pink colours that I don't use that often. And it's got some of those purples because I've got lots of oranges and greens and yellow kind of in my tin palettes. 
So, um, so this was a makeup sessions one, if I didn't tell you, to get this from Makeup Revolution. The Dream with the Vision was number nine. Number ten. I decided I wanted some interesting shimmers because I, I like shimmers and I can um, pick some mattes and then go bright with the shimmers on my crease. So I ended up picking the BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette. So it had lots of colours. Pinks, purples, a bit of blue, a bit of green, a bit of gold, a bit of silver. So I definitely went for colour. And I didn't put any um, neutral palettes in because I felt with the BH Cosmetics ones that I'd put in, like this one's got enough neutrals up the top there. This one has got some different kinds of neutrals. And this one has got a couple of neutral colours as well and this one here has got some neutrally looking colours in it so I felt like there were enough neutrals spread around there that I didn't need an actual neutral palette so that is my 10 picks if I could only keep 10 palettes I wonder how long I'd be satisfied with those 10 yeah, <laughs> I I feel like I'd, I want a few more reds because basically there was only one bright red and that was a, a red match here. There were some other kind of more burgundy, purpley kind of shades and there was orange but that was the only actual red. And I'd probably want a, some more blues. There may be enough greens, there may be enough oranges. But yeah. So that is my pick of nine. So, um, although it isn't a tag video, I am going to tag Kaylee Weasley to do this because I know she's got lots of palettes that she wants to work through and it's quite an interesting exercise because I didn't pick all my favourite ones because some of my favourites aren't in here because I was when I spread them out and looked at them, I was more like, okay, what's going to give me what I haven't got with the other palettes? So I could have picked more orange and more green and things but then I wouldn't have had some of the other colours that I like to play with sometimes. So <laughs> I wasn't very good at pairing down my colours, that's, that's my problem with everything, I can't choose just one colour. So Kelly, I am taking you to have a go at this challenge, I'm going to call it a challenge. <laughs> and I would like to see Kitty J have it. I'd like to see you do it as well because I think that would be quite interesting for you to look at your palettes and I would like to see which ones you would like to keep if you could only keep 10. And I'm just going to do those two and leave some people for them to pass the challenge on to. <laughs> so thank you Annette for challenging me. It was an interesting exercise and um, I, I will get you back sometime. I'll challenge you to something. <laughs> you just wait and see. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. If I could only keep 10 palettes, this would be my colours that I chose. Because I was trying to get the most variety of colours with just 10 palettes. And get a good variety of mattes and shimmers. So I also got, and also get some neutrals. So it's pretty colourful. So you can see where my mind goes. I love colour.